Hey guys, wouldn't it be great if you could receive notifications when something goes wrong? For example, now that we have metrics stored in Prometheus, we might want to get a notification when our service goes down. That's our topic for this chapter. In this chapter, let's explore how to get notified of an event using Prometheus Alert Manager with complete hands-on. So without any further delay, let's get started. We learned that our metrics are stored in PSDB. With Prometheus, we have the capability to define rules on the stored metrics. These rules are promptL expressions that are evaluated at regular intervals by Prometheus server. When these alerting rules are met, the Prometheus server triggers the alert manager. When this alert manager receives the alert request, it routes them to the correct receiver integration such as email, webhooks, slack and more. Additionally, it handles silencing and inhibition of alerts. Let's see this in action. As part of the previous chapters of this series, we have deployed our to-do application in Minikube and Prometheus is scraping this service metrics through service discovery. Please refer to the previous chapters of this series on how to do this. Now in this chapter, let's try to send a notification to Slack when our to-do API service goes down. For that, first we should create a rule to let Prometheus understand what exactly it means for the service to go down. In Prometheus, the up metric is a special metric that indicates whether a target is up or down. When this is 0, it means our service is down and when it is 1, it's up. So now let's get the up metric of our to-do service. So let's copy this label and paste here. And as you can see, it indicates 1 that means our to-do API service is up. So we should create a rule such that when this is 0, an alert should be set. This alert rule should be defined in the config map of Prometheus server because these alerts are evaluated in the Prometheus server. So let's get the config maps in the monitoring namespace. Qctl get config maps in the monitoring namespace. As you can see, this is the Prometheus server config map. So let's edit it. Qctl edit config map in the monitoring namespace. Here we should define the alerting rules. In the interest of time, I'm just pasting this. As you can see here, we defined the alert group. In that alert group, we have multiple alerts. One of the alert we defined is instance down. Here we give the prompt kill expression with the up metric of the to do API service. And we are saying that fire this alert when this value goes to zero. That means when the to do API service goes down, raise an alert. And for this alert, we are giving the labels. Also, we are saying that if the instance is down for 5 seconds, then raise the alert. If it is down less than 5 seconds, don't raise the alert. And these are the annotations that we can define on the alert. These annotations are helpful in the message of the alert. So let's save it. Close. As you can see, our config map is updated. Now we created an alert tool. We can see this in Prometheus UI by going to the alerts tab. As you can see, this instance down alert is created. Okay, now we define the alert rule but where it should send the notification, either on Slack or email or Teams where. This sending notification job is handled by a different component called Alert Manager. This is automatically installed when Prometheus is installed using help. We can verify this by listing services in the monitoring namespace. As you can see, this is the Prometheus Alert Manager running on the 1993 port. Let's port forward it to access the Alert Manager UI. So let's go back to browser and localhost 1993 as you can see this is the alert manager ui where we can see all the alerts please note that prometheus server only checks the alert rules once these rules are met it triggers the alert manager which takes care of entire alert life cycle so to define this notification system we should edit the alert manager config map so let's go back to terminal and list down all the config maps as you can see there is a alert manager config map in this config map, we should define the alerting targets. Let's edit it. Here we have the list of receivers. So by default, we have the default receiver. Let's create another receiver named Slack. As you can see, this is the name of the receiver. And in the configuration, we are telling that send the alerts to this alerts channel on my Slack. And also the messaging should be something like this. If you remember, these annotations we added in the Prometheus server config map. And also we are giving the webhook URL of the Slack. We can get this Slack URL by going to the api.slack.com 
and go to your apps and create a new app and click on the from scratch we can give something like demo alerts and the workspace is Pavanil Tapu create app and here go to the incoming webhooks and turn it on and click on the add new webhook to workspace and select to which channel we should send the alerts so let's send it to alerts alert now if you go back to slack and go to the alerts channel you can see that an integration is added to this channel and also this is the webhook url let's copy this and go back to the prometheus config and replace this url and let's save it like this we can define multiple receivers like email slack teams etc when we have so many receivers to which receiver this alert is sent that we can define in the route section in this route section we can define which alert should be sent to which receiver so in the interest of time i'm pasting a sample route here i mentioned the matches if you remember these labels we added to the alert in the prometheus server configuration and if none of these routes matches it goes to the default receiver so let's close it to save it as you can see our alert manager config map is edited whenever this alert manager config map is edited we should reload the configuration by firing this api or else the changes won't be reflected now we can verify this configuration by going to the status tab of alert manager if we scroll down we can see the updated configuration here so so far we defined the alert rule and also we defined the receivers and the routes now let's test if we are getting notification or not when our to-do api service goes down to simulate this, let's add a wrong liveness probe to the deployment just to make our application go down. That way, we can test if we are able to get a notification if our service is going down. So, let's edit this deployment and add this liveness probe. Here, we are giving the health path which doesn't exist on this service. So, let's save it. If you don't know what this liveness probe is, please refer to the probes chapter of the Kubernetes series to understand better. So, let's close it to save it. So after waiting for some time, let's list down the pods in the to-do namespace. As you can see, our pod went down. That means our service is down. Now let's go back to the Prometheus UI and refresh this page. As you can see, this turned into red. That means this alert is firing now. So based on our configuration, we should receive the Slack notification. So let's go back to Slack. And as you can see, we got this alert. And this is the message that we configured in the Prometheus server config map. Isn't it cool? We can also see these alerts in the Prometheus alert manager UI. As you can see, this is the alert. So this way we can monitor any number of applications with Prometheus alert manager. Now let's remove the liveness probe to make it up. Let's delete this, close it. And now let's list on the ports. As you can see, our application is back. Now after waiting for some time, let's refresh this page and as you can see this turned into green. Now let's fire the alert again by adding this liveness probe. Close it. As you can see our deployment is edited. Now let's use the pods and as you can see our service is down. Let's go back to Prometheus UA and refresh this and as you can see it turned into red. And also we got the alert in the slack. Cool. Everything is good. Now let's say we define alerts and we have a maintenance period. In this maintenance period, we know that our service will be down and we don't want to get disturbed because of this continuous alerts in this maintenance period. For that, we can silence the alerts for that period of time. To create a silence, we can go to alert manager UI and go to the alerts tab and for this alert, we can create a silence by clicking on this button. As you can see, we can silence our alerts for a duration of time. So now let's create this silence. So creator is Pavan and comment we can add it as maintenance period create now we will not receive alerts for this alert rule for one minute you can test it as a homework now let's take another scenario we know that our to-do api service is dependent on this mongodb and when mongodb is down we are 100 percent sure that our to-do api service will also be down in this case it doesn't make any sense to receive both alerts one for mongodb and one for to-do api outage for this case, we can define inhibition rule to suppress the alerts based on the presence of other I-priority alerts. In this case, when our MongoDB is down, we don't want to receive the alert of the to-do API because we know that if we fix the MongoDB issue, the to-do API will be automatically up. For this, we can create the inhibition rule. So to see this in action, let's create our MongoDB metrics. For that, we use MongoDB exporter. If you don't know what exporter is, 
please refer to the exporter chapter of this series. So I am going little fast on this exporter section because we already covered in detail about the node exporter in the Prometheus exporter chapter of this series. So I am adding the Prometheus community helm chat. I am updating the helm repos and now I am installing the MongoDB exporter helm chat with the configuration of my database. Enter. As you can see the MongoDB exporter is installed. We can verify that with kubectl get svc should. As you can see, the exporter service is created. Now we should configure Prometheus to scrape this exporter, which in turn scrapes the MongoDB metrics. So to add this as a static config in the Prometheus server, we should enable the config map of Prometheus server. So I'm adding one more job here. As you can see, I'm configuring the MongoDB exporter service, which is in the to-do namespace and which is running on 9216 port. So let's close it to save it. As you can see, the config map is updated. Now let's go back to the Prometheus UI and go to status targets to see if this is configured or not. Let's filter by MongoDB. As you can see, the Mongo exporter target is added and it is up. So now let's go to the graph and see if MongoDB is up or not. For that, we use MongoDB underscore up metric. As you can see, the MongoDB is up. Now in the Prometheus server config map, just like we define instance down with this prompt call expression, now we should define same for MongoDB. So I'm pasting it in the interest of time. So here we define this prompt kill expression MongoDB up with this label and if it is down, we are saying that then raise the alert. So let's save it and close it. As you can see, the Prometheus server config map is updated. Now that we have to do API alert and MongoDB alert, let's go ahead with creating the inhibition row. This should be created in the Prometheus alert manager config map. Let's enter. Here I'm pasting in the interest of time. As you can see here, we are defining the inhibition rule where we are defining the source matcher as alert name as MongoDB instance down and the target name as alert name instance down. This means whenever this alert is raised, this will be suppressed. And here equal represents both alerts should have the same name. Then only it is valid or else it will not be valid. So let's save it, close it. Because we updated the Prometheus alert manager config now, we should reload the alert manager. So now let's see the alert status by going to the Prometheus UI. Alerts, now both MongoDB and Todo API service is up. Now let's make MongoDB as down. For that, all we need to do is we should scale down the replicas. Enter. As you can see, the MongoDB is scaled down. Now if we list down the pods, there is no MongoDB pod. We can see that our MongoDB instance is down. And if you have a proper readiness probe on the Todo API service, automatically after some time, the Todo API service should also go down. As you can see, now both are down. So now based on the inhibition rule that we defined, we should get only one alert which is MongoDB, not the to-do API service because it is suppressed. So now let's go back to the Slack. And as you can see, we got only one alert which is Mongo instances down. Now let's go back to the Prometheus Alert Manager and see the alerts. Now as you can see, we have only one alert which is Mongo instance down. And if we select this inhibited check mark here, we can also see this to-do API alert but this is inhibited as you can see. That means Prometheus server evaluated the rule and sent the alert to the alert manager, but the Prometheus alert manager suppressed it. This way these inhibition rules can help us greatly suppressing the unwanted alerts. I'm sure you found it informative. Please feel free to let me know if you have any questions on Prometheus. My name is Pavanil Tepu and I thank you very much for watching this video. If you like the content, Please share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss any updates.